Divorce lawyer marketing. Is it even possible to target by household income anymore? Does this work on any online platform? You need to know this. One of the most important thing, pain points that uh, divorce attorneys have is targeting uh, you know, clients that can actually pay you uh, and don't want pro bono or legal aid, quote unquote, help. So there are ways to target people using most of the uh, demand side platforms uh, that are more likely to have a higher household income. So the, the first thing I wanna, I wanna explain is that in any platform, Facebook, Google, et cetera, there is an unknown audience, okay? So an unknown audience means that there's gonna be people who are on Facebook or on Google who aren't logged in to their browser or uh, they don't have any household income information associated with their IP address. So. What happens there is you then want to target, especially on Google, what we call high net worth keywords, right? So you wanna target keywords that would be more indicative of uh, more, you know, would resemble someone who would be of a higher household income bracket, someone who would be more concerned with asset division uh, versus, you know, keywords like cheap, quick divorce lawyer or fastest divorce pot, right? So. You, there are ways to pre-qualify uh, people based on household income by being strategic with the keywords you're targeting with your online marketing. But I will say on Google, actually as of now, it's better, uh, it's easier to target by household income than on Facebook. Ever since the Cambridge Analytica um, thing with Facebook, it's, it's actually hard to target by household income now um, they change things all, all the time, every week in Facebook, but recently I haven't seen any options for targeting by household income, net worth. You used to be able to target by those things, which really worked well for divorce lawyers on Facebook, but now it's a lot tougher. You still can target higher household incomes on Facebook, but um, you have to do it in a uh, different way. So you could target people who like specific like family offices or um, who are you know um, in uh, investing likely to be in making you know big retirement investments like people would that that have you know assets um, so you can target people uh, but not directly those uh, who definitely have a high household income but there's ways to do it um, uh, in, in ancillary ways on Facebook. On Google though, it does work pretty well. You can exclude the lower 60, lower 70% household income brackets and only show your ads to people who are certain to be within the top income brackets. The reason I know this is because we actually use it on our campaigns. Um, we do marketing nationwide with Google ads. We sell to lawyers and most of our best clients are within higher income brackets. Um, and they're individual lawyers searching for marketing help. So we have experimented with this on ourselves with you know tens of thousands of dollars a month, and we've learned that the household income brackets actually work pretty damn well on Google for bigger campaigns. So um, I want you to consider that in your strategy for generating uh, you know family law leads that are within the correct income bracket that you're looking to target. Now, if you do target payment plans, um, you know, for, for your, uh, in your divorce lawyer marketing, then you can target everything but those top 20% brackets because know that those top 20% bracket clicks are gonna usually be more expensive than the lower 80%, lower 70% uh, income bracket clicks because they're more desirable to more divorce lawyers nationwide. So, um, so always keep that in mind and, uh, you know, and, and just another side tip, um, when you're doing the right household income targeting and you're certain your advertising is gonna pull in higher quality phone calls, you don't have to worry as much about giving free advice on the phone. Um, I know that a big problem our family law attorneys face is um, they give too much on the phone to the low end market, right? And then they, the, those people go, will then price shop and, and not call you back and not hire you. But in the high end market, you do want to differentiate yourself from others. So if you're getting a high-end family law uh, call, 
it's okay to give away some free information on that initial call. Don't feel so guarded. Otherwise, they may go to someone who will help them more on that initial call since they actually have some serious assets to divide. So, um, so keep that in mind. What I want you to do is in the comments of this video, because we're always learning about how to do household income targeting. If you've had any experience uh, doing household income targeting, let us know whether it worked for you or not and, and what means you're uh, using to do household income targeting. Um, and if you like this video, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, um, and uh, I look forward to um, helping you with more video content like this. If you subscribe to our channel, you'll be notified when we uh, put out new videos that can help you like this, uh, and we do it every week. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this content. Stay great.